Daddy, where's Santa? Was he killed by Muslims? Oh, my God, poor Stewie. He's so disappointed. Your family is gone. Would you mind if we turn on the TV? Oh, hey, I didn't know anyone was here. I, uh, I was just kidding when I told my family I loved them. I am Mahmoud. I'm Peter. You know, I never seen a hat like that before, so I'm very scared of it. No, this is just a tahiyya. It's a traditional Muslim prayer cap. Oh. Hey, you know who'd look funny wearing one of those? The Monopoly guy. <laughs> Correct. Go directly to jail and convert to Islam. Because <laughs> they do that. <laughs> yes, that is what I intended. <laughs> hey, you're all right, Mahmoud. You too, Peter. So, uh, what do you want to watch? Well, if you turn on Channel 14, we can probably catch the end of Muslim Looney Tunes. As a pig, I am very dirty and should not be touched by humans. Hey, you guys, come on. Let's get the man a drink. What are you having? How about the ginger ale? But if you'll excuse me, right now I have to go bring great shame to myself by using the restroom. Isn't he great? No, he's weird. Well, why do you order a ginger ale? And who the hell doesn't look at jugs? Yeah, and he's got a cell phone clipped to his belt like he's some kind of big shot on vacation. Oh, I see what's going on. You guys are uncomfortable with Mahmoud because he's Muslim. What? What are you talking about? This is your post-9-11 racism talking. I, for one, think it's great that Peter has enough of an open mind to have a Muslim friend. You know, a lot of dogs just sit outside, tied to poles. Look, Mahmoud's my friend, okay? So he's Muslim. Every culture has its quirks. <laughs> Peter, where are you going, and why are you dressed like that? Well, Lois, I happen to be a Muslim now, which means I'll be spending a lot of my time in mostly empty cafes watching soccer on an 8-inch black-and-white TV. All right, Lois, I'm off to the bazaar. What do you mean? You mean the market? Yeah, the bazaar. Well, if you go into the market, can you pick up some cereal, some butter, and a loaf of bread? I'll see what they have. All right, Lois, here's six cobras, a bolt of silk, and a ram's horn. Peter, what the hell? Hey, can you help me with the 20 paper bags of dates I got in the car? Why the hell would you get 20 bags of dates? The monkey in the little vest who was selling them happened to be very persuasive. Uh, you know? I have to say, Peter, I am impressed by how much you have committed yourself to Islam. Are you kidding? It's awesome. I even started wearing leather sandals with way too long toenails. See how the big ones are getting yellow? Ah, yes, very Muslim. I told you, look at him. He's the perfect man to help us blow up the Quahog Bridge. <laughs> ah, oh, my God! Everybody down! <laughs> so are these toys just like to take? Hey, guys, what football team should I like? Mahmoud says we all need to act like we're fans of American football, so we seem less... suspicious. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Mahmoud. You know, I actually feel really bad for him. Do you know he knew 19 guys who died on 9-11? I mean, what are the odds? Peter, I think you joined a terrorist sleeper cell. What? That's crazy. Look, I'm going to call Mahmoud right now on this cell phone he gave me. He'll tell you. Damn phone's busted. Maybe I dialed wrong. Peter, please stop trying to call Mahmoud. This is very serious. Your friends are terrorists. Think about it. They're, they're meeting in secret. They're creating cover stories. Oh, my God, you're right. See, I told you Mahmoud was bad news. Those guys are all bad news. Uh, hang on there, Quagmire. Just because these few guys are terrorists doesn't mean all Muslims are. Every ethnic group has their nut jobs. We Great job, Peter. Thanks to you, 30 terrorists are behind bars, and every middle-class Arab in this town is now under suspicion. So what happens next? Do those guys all get trials? Well, you know, some of them, it's, uh, it's a song. It's the process. And, uh, well, this thing is worthless, like my Palestinian alarm clock. Allahu Akbar! Death to America and butter sauce. Don't boil me. I'm still alive! I say, Ahmed, what, what, what is that thing you people do when, when, when you're about to assassinate an infidel? Ah, you mean this? Oh, God, yes, I love that. This is insanity. I go in store, I throw backpack, big boom. No, 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 you are big boom. Big hero. Okay, right. So I throw backpack, come back and have big hero party with many virgins. No, 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 you boom. Oh, okay, okay. I put on backpack, boom. Then I come back, big hero virgins. Okay, yeah, see you in a few minutes, big hero. Allahu Akbar! Before you do anything, for God's sake, put some clothes on.
Ryan, calm down. In some countries, this is a compliment. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Oh, please, come on. It's just something I threw together. Um, hey, thanks for taking me out to dinner, Ryan, but I gotta say this food looks a little weird. Oh, Peter, Moroccan food is the jizz. I don't know. Looks like it might give me the kind of farts I get from eating Mexican food. Con cuidado! Es el stingo! Oops. Whoa, freeze frame. What's gonna happen next? I think I gotta go to the bathroom. I found us a ride to Quahog in the back of a truck. Hurry! Oh, thank God. Come on, let's head home before Stewie gets hurt, like Fozzie Bear when he went to Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's good to worship Allah, because I used to worship Summer. Waka waka. I once knew a guy who was so Arab. How Arab was he? Uh, he was so Arab that everybody liked him, and there was nothing funny about him at you know, all. like driving around, getting into incidents with other motorists. Honk, honk. Stay out of the way, you old bat. <laughs> Asian. Not all Asians are bad drivers. No, no. Not all terrorists are Arab, but, you know, they are, so... You guys uh, hear about that new kid? The emo Muslim? <sighs> Death to America. Thank you, Brian. That brings me peace in this hour. I'll be with Allah soon. What? Uh, yeah, he doesn't know what he's saying. He's delirious. Look, you better get moving. All right, Stewie, let's go get the sleigh ready. Is anyone else a little freaked out by that Allah thing? Never mind that. Let's just get going. 